So it appears that new addition is in turmoil once again. Now half of the group RBRM has took to the media bus this week going on the Breakfast Club, DJ Sway, and the Jenny McCarthy show did their interviews talking about their upcoming tour and talking about the situation with New Edition. Now, after all that happened, Johnny Gill heard of it, took to Instagram, and wrote a message, and here was what he had to say on his Instagram. Okay, so it says, I'm just getting home from vacation, and I am just now seeing a barrage of messages pertaining to the description discrepancies surrounding the new edition trademark. If you notice, Ralph and I have yet to respond to the accusations involving the any trademark, as airing out internal issues can rarely be seen as integral. This matter truthfully has nothing to do with the trademark name. We all had a conversation regarding having all active members of the any names on it to protect the integrity of the group. Ralph and I suggested that we put together an agreement amongst all of us that no one person would ever use the name of the group individually, but that it would always be used by the group collectively so as to avoid any ambig ambiguity by having multiple variations of new addition in use. For the record, the name has been available for almost 25 years. The group has never owned its name. There was never any intention not allow not allow anyone to be a part of owning the name. It was about coming up with an agreement that protects the integrity of the group. Again, this is not about the name. That is a matter that could have been reconciled some time ago with an agreement. But instead of hiring an attorney to draw up an agreement amongst us, it seems that they rather hire a lawyer to fight us over something so simple. The real truth behind all of this would be devastating to any fans, and thus Ralph and I have decided to take the high road regarding this matter while other members continue to behave in a way that is disrespectful to our legacy when we all know the truth. The general public only hearing one side of the story and taking sides is no different than being on a jury and convicting someone without first reviewing at all reviewing and all of the evidence and hearing all parties involved equally. For 35 years, this group has always had issues and somehow we've managed to move forward in a more than progressive manner. This is not our first irreconciliation and it most certainly won't be our last moment tackling issues as they are certain members involved who seem to believe in taking their issues to social media as opposed to dealing with things like grown men. This is unacceptable regardless of the circumstances and will never be cool by my standards. Choosing sides and not knowing the full truth will only contribute to the climate of internal problems. At some point, one has to recognize when the battle was beyond himself and let go and let God. If fans ever want to see this group move forward, this course of action will be best. You can't be the jury or choose sides because when don't have all of the info or evidence to be able to make an honest and fair assessment of the situation. However, by now you all have enough to know that we all need your prayers. This is my first and last time addressing the nonsense, the deceit, the man manipulation, and more importantly, the lies. God bless, JG. So... As you can see that there is a whole lot of tension in between the group. A whole lot of tension. Johnny felt that he came off of vacation. That he had got all these messages bar barraging him. Bombarding him with all these lies and all these stories. And then you have fans taking sides. And this is the one thing about it. You got fans taking sides. And then Johnny questioned um, certain group members manhood didn't call their names out but he questioned their manhood so there's going to be a whole lot of backlash between all of this and, and see here's the thing and i want to talk about at the end of the day keep your dirty laundry to yourself 
Because you start going on social media, you start going on, and, and Ralph went on social media, and he kind of threw shade at certain people, you know, and you have certain group members, you know, favoring other group members. It's like you have two divisions. It, it, it has, you have BBD and Bobby Brown versus Ralph and Johnny. That's what you have right now. That's the beef going on. And it's like, y'all too old for this. Y'all just got done a movie. Y'all perform at the BET Awards. The money was right there. It was there for the taking. They were offering you all this money. And all y'all did was sit there and say, you know what? Y'all didn't take advantage of it. Now, I don't know... You know, who trademarked the name? A lot of people, you know, are saying a lot of things you don't know because nothing was said. You know, no one came out and exactly said what really happened. But here's the thing. They're all new addition. They're all are talented in their own right. And, you know. And then you had some fans that went on social media on Johnny's Instagram page and, um, Said you were just an add-on. How dare you sit there and trademark the name? Well, he was and he was part of the history. Because if it there would be no can you stand the rain, there would be no ending of any heartbreak, there would be no boys to men, you know. There would be no hit me off. You know, they I mean there wouldn't be a slew of songs that made that group what it was. I don't think they would have even made it to the Heartbreak album because if Ralph went solo back in 87, 88, he was going to do what Bobby did. He was going to go solo. So particularly Mike came in, asked Johnny to join the group, and that's the reason why they made it to Heartbreak. So you could sit there and say, "Well, Johnny was an add-on. Yeah, he was a very important part of the add-on." He was a very important part of it. So, and a lot of people say, well, you know, and I I get this all the time with Johnny. Oh, he sings too hard. He growls when he sings. He tries to do too much. It's like people are never happy with anything. They always got something to complain about. Okay. You know, they always have something to complain about. Yeah, did Ralph have a very successful solo career than all the other members? No, he really didn't. Um, Bobby Brown had that one album. He had um, Don't Be Cruel, My Prerogative, Every Little Step I Take, Roni, um, Rock With You. He had five number one hits. Well, he had five hits on that album. When New Edition came out in 88, it was If It Isn't Love. Can You Stand the Rain? I think it was um, You're Not My Kind of Girl, Crucial Love, and um, Any Heartbreak. So they had a few sling of hits on their album too. Ralph sang lead on two of those songs. Okay, so yeah, did Ralph have a successful career? Ralph can do, if it is in love, he can do Crucial by himself. He didn't need he don't need the group to do those songs. He can do those things by himself because he was technically saying every part of the song. And then you have BBD, which was talented in their own right, which, in my opinion, Ricky Bell is the most underrated singer. I've ever, I don't know why he didn't have a, a solo career, you know, coming out after the home again. tour. he could have put out a couple of so I think he did one solo album, you know, but he had a he has a good voice. I mean, he could put out one or two albums and I think that they would have been successful. Okay, Mike Bibbs, rapper, uh, Ronnie DeVoe, good dancer, um producer. So, you know, and BBD had success with Poison, um do me. Um I thought it was me, um and a lot of others. That girl is dope. And then you had something in your eyes and then I think later on it was in my crib, and then I think um, run. So they've had success too. So a lot of members have success. They've had their success, and at this point, 
fans have to stop choosing size and stop dividing. And this is what they're doing. They're dividing the group because they don't like what certain people are doing. Ralph is um, a DJ at a radio station. So right now he's working on doing his DJ. Ralph hasn't said anything bad about him yet. Did he throw some shade on his Instagram post? And you know, you, you might say that or you might not say that. But he never attacked him personally. And it's just a big mess right now. And I would say for this, keep your business off of social media. Just say, if anybody brings up new addition, just say, look, you know, right now we sorting out some issues and we hoping one day we get it all sorted out so we can be one whole big group again and we can go out and, and do what we do. But right now I'm with focus on RBR and Bell Bidnabo, Bobby Brown. I'm focused on Johnny Gill, Ralph Tresman. That's right now. Hopefully, somewhere down the line, somewhere, somewhere in the near future, we want all new addition to come, all six members to come back and shut it down. That's it. And then you talk about something else. You got to learn to shut it down. But I'm not going to air our dirty laundry out there like that. I'm not going to air I'm not going to throw shade at anybody. I'm not going to come at anybody. I'm not going to disrespect anybody. I'm not going to do that because I have too much respect for my brothers. I have too much respect for this group. And I'm not going to do that. Whatever we're going through, we're going through it. We're going to deal with it. But it's for us to deal with. Not everybody else to know. And I think, you know, now, you know, I think Johnny, you know, he could have just put it out there. Maybe he said it out of anger or anything like that. But, you know. He could have came out and said, you know, right now I'm torn right now. And I hope our brother, I, ho I want all my brothers to get back and do certain things. But when you go on, when you go on certain media outlets and then you have people going on social media, then you have people taking sides and you don't know the real truth because nobody has really said anything. And people just making opinions up as they go along. It's no good. And this is what you have right now. Dysfunction within the groups. You have two divisions against. You have two variations of the group now against each other now. So this is what you have. And I hope that they get it together and get back um, together soon. Tell me what you think about it. Like the video. Leave a comment and subscribe for more YouTube videos.